That's not... I wasn't making it there. All right, those 15 lives, they're going to go really quick right now. I've been saving them all for this stage specifically. All right, I've promised it for a long time. It's finally here, so some of you can stop commenting. But I feel like after playing Crash 4, Crash 1, 2, and 3 is going to be a walk in the park. He's like, finally, Crash Bandicoot. Going to the eye doctor sometimes be like, you ever go to the eye doctor and they give you the, the drops that dilate your pupils and then you can't see afterwards? Run, Crash, run! Out the window! Here we are, back at the roots. It's so weird going back because the original Crash games are so much more zoomed in. And also, after being so used to the... Oh, we can't double jump, that's right. And after being so used to the Crash 4 design, it, just, it feels kind of weird. But this is it, this is the roots. We don't have any shadows or circles to guide us. We don't have double jumps. We don't have modern mode. Just me, Crash Bandicoot, and a broken controller. Just like the good old days. All right, super crash. Kill all the turtles. Just kidding, don't kill turtles. Turtles are, are very kind and uh, gentle, except for the snapping turtles that bite fingers off. I'm just gonna try to get all the boxes for as long as I can because I underestimated that jump. Typical chalk fashion, die twice on the first level. That's, oh, hang on, see, that's what got me. I jumped here and I was like, no, that's where you gotta jump. Whoops, just warming up, that's it. Just warming up. You know what? Forget it. That was my chance to get all the boxes, and yeah, I don't care anymore. I'm telling you, that's it. That's the last time we're gonna die. Not gonna die a single more time. In fact, I feel bad for the developers for making the game so easy. Go ahead, do it, you bootleg-ass piranha plant. Come on, stupid. This is the crash that I grew up with. No fancy mechanics. You run, you spin. You don't get fancy. Oh, you die, you pass the controller to a homie. Look, this is a breeze. Told you, no more deaths. Beam me up, Neo Cortex. Press X to bounce higher. Like, I didn't already know that. It's funny how they just assume that I'm not a professional Crash Bandicoot player. I'm trying to remember where I was in life. How old was I when this game came out? Oh, that almost crushed me. What was it, 96? Crash 1 came out? Or was it 97? I remember because whatever year it was, I didn't have a PlayStation. I had a friend who lived, well, he didn't live a couple doors down. His grandma lived a couple doors down and he had a PlayStation. So he would come over on the weekends and whenever he would come over, he had Crash. So either we would play that or we'd play Parappa the Rapper. It was 96. So I was eight years old. I was eight or nine, which means I'm an old man. Oh God, where are you trying to put that thing? All right, there's the coin. We go to the boner, I mean bonus stage. Don't lie, you've thought about it. Oh, wow, okay. All right, that that was sabotage. They are trying to get me to die when they said I wasn't going to. Thank you. Is that another stage down without deaths? And only nine boxes. He's like, nine boxes, I eat that for breakfast. This one's just called boulders. I wonder what this stage is about. All right, here we go. We gotta run towards the screen now, which this, this was super disorienting when I was younger because I've said this before, I got bad depth perception. So like knowing when to jump is sometimes a challenge. I mean, but I'm a gamer though. So I power through. I feel like Crash 4 really prepared me. Either that or just years of playing platformers. Not to mention I've already beaten these games. Chomp, 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 chomp. Get those Wumpa Fruits. I missed a box. Get me out of here. Crash, run! Oh, God, it's gaining on me. It's gaining on me. Gravity, gravity. Oh, we got the gem. We out of here. Huh, perfect. Just like me. Just nice and easy. You see, you, you think I don't remember that the uh, the lily pads, that they go bye-bye. You think I don't remember. But I remember about the lily pads. What's up with the piranhas? You're just like, blah, 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 blah. God, I have so many lives. Not that I'm gonna need them because I'm a Crash Bandicoot master. Got an unpopular opinion, but uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 is not that great. I love one and two, and three is just like, eh. That's where the series really starts to go downhill. But a lot of people love three. They got fond memories for it. I don't know, when, once you threw the motorcycle in and all that stuff, I was like, I think this is my last Crash game. And then Crash 4 came out. No more deaths, no more deaths, no more heroes. Never played those games either. That's it, only three? Oh, it's our first boss fight. Let's go. Hey, uh, uh, buddy, wake up, wake up. We gotta fight. I'm just here, standing in your house. Whoa, whoa, chill. Go jump on his head, how do I beat him again? 
Yeah, that's it. Hey, where's your bathroom? You got a bathroom for kitchen? Pretty terrible apartment. I wasn't even over there. And he's like, this is where I'm going to swing my staff. He crushed my skull. Yep, wrong way, pal. You got plumber's crack. Pick up your skirt. I feel like that was a little unnecessary. Whoop! Oh, almost died there. Oh, God. Aku, Aku, you will be remembered for your bravery. I want that. I want that. Okay, I'm out of here. I die in the easy spots, and then I get to the things that are a little more challenging, and, and I don't. It's ass backwards for me. Whoop! Oh, God. Just squeaking through. No, I didn't want that coin. That's the crypto that they're trying to use to scam you. Okay, that's a lot of boxes. Okay, he's already dead. Okay, you can stop now. Crash. What was with the eyebrow raise before you jumped on the hog? He's like, hey, hey, watch this. We're gonna ride this hog. Hey, Peter, I'm gonna eat that pig. Who's there? Yeah, I'll, I'll ride this hog right into the barbecue. Oh! Every time. Okay, you gotta juke him. You gotta juke him. Juke. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't see that one. No! Oh, he launched me into the pit! What? How? You didn't think you would see it. You never thought you'd see the day. But old Chalk is gonna make it past Hog Wild. I don't care if it takes 20 tries. The game is still infinitely easier than Crash 4. I feel like Crash 4's difficulty just gets ridiculous at a point. Where the developers are like, let's see uh, how many controllers we can break. Yo, what's this one monkey doing? Just chilling and rolling back and forth. Not gonna forget that. Not, not like I even need the bonus stage at this point. Man, Crash is uh, ruthless. I'm gonna kill all the wildlife. It's like, screw the planet. Oh, I thought it was done. Isn't there like a Crash Bash? That's supposed to be like a Mario Party style game. Is that is that a thing or am I making that up? There was also a Sonic one on the Dreamcast. I don't remember what it was called though, but it was a Sonic style Mario Party game. Damn it. Did I say no more deaths? What I meant was uh, no game overs. This is the no game over run. I know some of you are waiting. You're like, Chuck, you're gonna get to the hard levels. Just watch. But you're wrong. You don't know who you're dealing with. Let me slay the monkey. Woo! Oh, the game wanted to give me that one. The crash gods have graced me. Whoa, oh, oh, damn. I wonder what roasted bandicoot would taste like. I would assume similar to kangaroo, which I've never actually had. Because I don't think I have it in me to eat a kangaroo. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's a lie. If the kangaroo is, like, kind of a dick, I could probably do it. Whoa! No! Oh, no. They gave me a coup a coup because they're like, he sucks. I can't believe they did it to me. They're like, yeah, he's trash. Give him the mask. Look, they're gonna give me four one-ups. A real blow to my pride. I can already feel how mean the comment section is gonna be. No one's ever died ever playing video games. Cool, fun. Oh, hello. I'll, I'll gladly take another one. No qualms about free one-ups. Yep, it's okay. It's okay, I could take it. Oh, my salad's trying to eat me. See? Salad's a scam. I told you. It's actually my favorite to go in the comments after... Play where, where do I have to go? Where are we going? Where are we... Oh, no! It's my favorite to go in the comment section and find the people who are perfect gamer gods that can watch somebody not only have to play for an audience, but commentate and break concentration and get eaten. Crash is a very delicate boy. Like, he gets touched once. He's like, I quit. Take my life. He would never survive in Smash. What was I even thinking? He would get jabbed once by Mario and be like, that's it, I'm dead. I mean, can you imagine dying in one hit? I mean, I guess you could if you main Pichu. Oh, I, you know what, forget it. Who cares? Ripper Roo. Probably one of the more iconic boss fights in Crash 1. Or in, I guess in the entire Crash trilogy. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to go diagonal. The big TNT. It's like that Mario Party minigame where you have to guess which uh, platform the other person is going to jump to, and you just bonk heads. There we go. Just send it downstream. One. Ah! I said iconic. What I really meant was annoying. Just stay away from me. You, you hop on over there. Crap! Just drop the SpongeBob time card. One hour later! You see, he's gone insane from just watching people die over and over again until they figure the pattern out. I lost so many brain cells just now. Hey, still didn't get a game over, though. 
Oh, that's right, the bats here. Feeling like Bruce Wayne after his parents die. Leaping lizards! Can I not kill you? No! So aside from playing this game when I was a child, the last time that I played Insane Trilogy, or I guess the first three Crash games, because they weren't known as the Insane Trilogy when they came out. It's just the remakes. But I, when did this game come out, 2016? I remember when they were rumored and I was like, oh, I really hope that's true. Crash was a huge part of my childhood. Then it happened and Crash had one of the greatest comebacks in gaming history. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, easy. Easy. Oops. Oh, just had to kill him. Okay, that works. All right, what's the pattern here? Oh, I could probably just go. Nice and easy. I've earned that one up. Don't tell me I didn't. So, Crash 5 win. I'm ready for more. Are there plans? Because they had that rumored five... They had that rumored five-year crash plan, and I wonder if, like, they had anything planned after that. They are like, all right, we made our money. Time to go. And they just dipped. I I'm gonna die because I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I couldn't count my jumps. And I lost all my fruits. You know what the crazy part was? Think back to, like, the PlayStation 1. You didn't have a an analog stick. You had to do this all with a D-pad. See, I'm going for all of them because I'm greedy. Let's just get some and dip, because I'm, I'm pushing dangerously close to a game over. But I want to see if I can do it without getting him. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Now the stages really start to test your patience. See? I didn't see the spear. It's too dark in this place. Need more torches. So you got to look for the shadow. In Crash 4, they're like, they're not going to be able to do it. Give him the circle. So here you want to run, spin, and then jump right into the flame. So you realize when you go back to the very far away checkpoint that you don't do that ever again. Where's the bats? Oh, whoa, whoa! Depth perception, I'm telling you. See, the trick here is total concentration. So you know exactly which curse word you're going to say when you die. No, you missed 15 boxes. The road to nowhere. All right, here we go. I don't know if you stand still or if I have to, like, jump. Nope, okay, that didn't work. Man, whoever built this bridge, uh, they suck. Some of you don't think that I know about the rope cheat, but I know. You can just do this. It's like taking the whistle in Super Mario Bros. 3. This is incredibly dangerous, Crash. Incredibly. Keep doing it. Actually, I think it's probably a, a more of a gamer move to make the precise jump onto the rope. Crash should join the circus. Be a really good tightrope act. See, look, I can do both. I'm the greatest Crash player to ever grace the Earth. I'll show you. I don't need to use the rope. You need to use the rope. I'm going to bonus land. Hey, wait a second. This isn't bonus land. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, we used the turtle here. Kind of messed up, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. That turtle's already dead. Fine. Easy. See? That's what it's all about. Not even toys for Bob could take me down. Now, this, this boulder, this is rigged to fall. Just waiting for me. Or you think someone pushes it. You think there's someone working up there. It's like a 24-hour, around-the-clock kind of thing. They're like, oh, someone's coming. Push the boulder. They get one person, like, every, I don't know, 20 years. When do I get the slide mechanic? Or is that in Crash 2? Run! Run! Oh, God. I, I was sure that I was going to live. Whenever I play these stages, my thumb always feels like it's going to slip off of the analog stick. There we go. I almost ran in and spun into the TNT. That's a good way to get me to say curse words. Look at Crash's face as he's running. Just pure horror. Just out here fighting for his life. Didn't ask for any of this. Just woke up in a lab one day. You see, I think they actually, uh, they greased the slope so it slides faster. Here we go. Woo! I don't even care about the boxes. Let my man Crash rest. Sunset Vista, that actually sounds kind of nice. Crash is running around, he's like, hey, where's that cabana that I rented? We got it for the whole day. You know, I low-key would love a Crash Bandicoot themed theme park. I think that could be really cool. Nowhere near enough money to do it. Or maybe there is, maybe there, there is enough money, but it would never happen. This game is just like packed with extra lives. I haven't played the actual originals in a second, but were they also like that? Another one of these. This old chestnut, been there, done that, died there. Shout out to Crash for putting the actual animal bandicoots on the map. Did anyone know what the hell a bandicoot was before Crash? Doubt it. Isn't that crazy though that like Crash Bandicoot made the animal famous that has existed for centuries? Nothing is worse than like 
climbing all the way up a series of platforming challenges like this, only to fall all the way back down and have to do it again. Yo, that bat is such a narc. He's just chilling there. He's like, hey, hey, all my bat friends are coming, by the way. This is where they hang out. It's like he's letting you know where the red light cameras are. Do you think, like, crash breaking boxes is the equivalent to, like, Link smashing clay pots when he goes in buildings? Like, Crash can't help himself. He's like, must smash box. What oh, crap, there's so many lives in this game. I don't need them. I mean, maybe a few. Maybe only a couple. They really just straight up called him Koala Kong. Uh, he skips leg day, by the way. It's the big one. Do your worst. Do I... Yep. Hey, he was throwing him first. I was just minding my own business. Came down to take a tour of the mine. Idiot. You think Koala Kong is juicing? He's juicing. He's gotta be. Make sure not to, you know... There we go. Take a nap. We went from a nice tropical Aztec temple to New Jersey. That's a robot chuckle. Tell me I'm wrong. You look at Crash just vibing. He's got every right, though. This, uh, this entire soundtrack slaps. Robo Shuckle, I don't want to hurt you. But you're in my way. I'm sorry I have to. I'm a little meticulous, but I'm getting all of them. Treat yourself sometimes. Don't burn yourself. I recently burned myself in my barbecue. Still healing. Still got battle scars from the hamburger that I made. Ooh. Okay. All right. Easy. Easy. I, I can't even be challenged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Cortex power. So does he just run the power plant? Ooh, I'm getting a... Uh, I'm getting Cortex castle vibes. So wait, what's the difference between going this way and going this way? I feel like this is the hard path. And I'm not going to turn that down. Look at this guy. Ah, he shot me! These are very, very hazardous work environments. I'm calling the Union. Oh, okay, and then Crash uh, came out as one of the X-Men. Again, can we really do it, though? Can we really just beat the whole game without getting a single game over? The dream? Once you get your rhythm, there's no stopping you. It becomes second nature. You do this with my eyes closed. Great, but you're a disappointment to your family. Look at Cortex's ugly mug. He's got some ego. Just plain gifts of himself all over the place. It's pronounced GIF, by the way. If you say GIF, you've likely committed war crimes. No! Use your hands, Crash! Grab the ledge! I mean, he would be a terrible character in Smash. My tune is completely changed. He'd be the only character that couldn't grab the ledge. Uh, you know what? No, never mind. Forget that one. It's like Christmas Day. Just greeted with more and more one-ups. Yeah, uh, that guy looks like he could be trusted. Wait. Are really the three boxes that I missed the ones that I just willingly passed up? This guy's definitely in the mob. I know we're like stereotyping him, but look how he's dressed. They all shop in the same store. Throw it. Knock off Donkey Kong. Oh, a bouncy one. Threw me off. You know the employees of this place are retiring with some health issues. And Cortex being the scum that he is is like, uh, nope, sorry, no pension. You're on your own. Jeez, how many floors is this thing? Oh! I think we have a real shot here at getting all the boxes. Especially since it's like, it's been a second. Oh, run! Oh! We got a wall! We did it! Nearly perfect, but you die. Come on! All right, now we have to fight a gangster. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos, so he's probably gonna try and break my kneecaps. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't! How is that fair? He has an actual gun! That, okay, didn't work. I'm just gonna stay over here until he runs out of ammo. Right? That's what we do? You gotta get him on the reload? Okay, wait wait for the reload. Just like, take cover. Pinstripe, he probably sounds like a typical gangster too. He's like, hey, you guys over there. He's like, come get a sandwich from Satriales. What do you want, Gabagol? How many bullets does this clip have anyway? Get him! I ain't paying you your money. Now go home. The high road. This is the one they warn you about. Now we've already done one of these. And I got, uh, I got plenty of lives, so off to a good start. Even better. <laughs> Chuck, what are you doing, man? Get it together. Get it together. The people are relying on you. Checkpoints are my friends here. You know, it's not your friends. These turtles. But you gotta, you gotta get them, like, right at the edge. That's not... I wasn't making it there. All right, those 15 lives, they're gonna go really quick right now. 
I've been saving them all for this stage specifically. Okay, gotta get them, like, at the very end. Here we go. Checkpoint! All right, cool. We're in business. <laughs> High Road is the original Cortex's castle. Like, I know this game is hard, but I just feel like Crash 4 is so much harder. Like, I, I know I'm dying a lot, but it just, it doesn't pale in comparison. Crash 4 made me change modes. And this is a remake, like on the OG PlayStation 1, this stage could probably drive you to drink. But I'm saying it right here, right now, if we can get past this stage without getting a game over, we're not getting one. Do the rope thing. Um, no rope thing. Why do the laws of gravity not apply to these hogs? You thought Goku going down Snake Way was tough? Try Crash on the high road. Sorry, but uh, these deaths mean nothing to me. Crash 4 calloused my heart. I don't even feel anymore. I mean, think about it. If Goku had to make it past this, he was never making it back in time for the arrival of the Saiyans. Oh, okay, it's right there. That's the end. Told you, no game over here. It's not happening. It could still happen. I swear to God, if I made it all this way to lose all my lives right here, I'm going to smash my PlayStation 5 with a hammer. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was getting nervous for a minute. Yeah, I feel that, Crash. I feel it. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried because we got four lives. I've been talking a whole lot of smack. I just need, like, a couple of bad luck jumps, and it's game oversville. Hey, look at this creep. Get the hand out of here, you weirdo. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Game's starting to get to me. It's starting to get in my head. Where's, where's all those one-up boxes now? Where are they? Now we want to be cheap with them? Jumping on the birds. This is very, uh... This is very Donkey Kong Country. Ah! Okay, um, I was wrong. I'm gonna admit that now. There we go. Okay, we're alive. We're still alive. We're hanging in there. They ain't handing us the game over slip yet. We got this. We got this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, double time, no problem. We got this. Easy, easy. You see, when I get backed into a corner, that's when I really shine. I'm just constantly evolving. Okay, we're still good. That looks like the dude from, uh, you know, Phineas and Ferb. No! Oh no. Oh god, we got one left. Yeah, I kind of just want to get the game over over with, so I feel nothing. Okay, come on, bring me over to the bird. Bring me to the bird, man. Just gotta make it through. <gasps> oh, one up! Wait. All that to jump into a spike? Oh my, I made it so far! Game over. Sad. You hate to see it. If you wait long enough, this tiki mask will haunt your dreams. <laughs> Very sparse and stingy with the checkpoints. As you get further into the day. Okay, nope, almost. Not a single checkpoint. I'm going to the bonus stage. I'm gonna die here. No. No! Okay, fine, whatever. What oh! One eternity later. Let's go! Give me all them lives! I don't even care if I got all the boxes. And th this is a- <laughs> It's a great place to die. It's a great place to immediately die. Because we just got the checkpoint. We're chock full of lives right now. I actually, I forgot how hard this game was. Like, legit. Or how dumb I am. See, my mistake was I went for the one-up and I hesitated. Never hesitate. Here we go. We out of here. Don't even think about it. Listen, those are toxic chemicals. The only thing more toxic than those vials are the League of Legends community. Wait, that's it? Only 10? Oh, Akua Kui's glowing. Okay, thank you for warning me. Here's the thing about Metroid Dread. I'm excited for it. Um but this is going to be legitimately my first Metroid game. I mean, I kind of played some Super Metroid, but not enough to really say that I've played Metroid, or anyone who plays Metroid would say, hey, you've played Metroid before. I like that it comes out in October, so I can finally call it Chocktober and play something spooky. I didn't know that uh, Aku Aku had these radioactive properties. I gotta act fast though, because he doesn't stay lit for very long. You gotta freshen him up every now and then. To change the light bulb. See, there's like a rhythm here. Well, I just gotta not stop ever. 
Okay, we're, we're doing it. We're doing the thing. I missed that one up, didn't I? The place is infested with rats. Disgusting. Okay. I don't want to get guillotined. It's probably on my list of, like, top five things to not do in life. Get guillotined. You know, I like my head right where it is. I would like to just keep it there. It was like the second stage of Turtles in Time. Right? The second stage of that sewer surfing? In the dark, in the dark, in the dark. Let's go! Let's go! I'm too good. I can't be stopped. I'm a god. Cuckoo is here. I feel safe. It's like carrying a weapon around. You know I keep that thing on me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We, we keep going. We keep going. We, we stay moving. Life goes on. So, like, I'm struggling, but I got my gamer card because I beat Cuphead with only the pea shooter. I feel like that's a respectable enough achievement. You thought I was just going to jump into the spears, did you? Well, you would have been right, but my finger slipped off the thumbstick. Okay, I can't. I got to get through both of them. Ah, oh, should have waited. I'm running out of lives here. More importantly, I'm running out of patience. Crash, funny enough, is about to be a patient at the hospital. What do you think his hospital bills look like? There we go. The checkpoint's right there. And I know as soon as I jump, I'm going to get squashed like a bug. Woo! Just hit the box. Thank you. I don't feel as bad since we got, a, we got a checkpoint box now. Like, we're in the money. I'm golden. Great. More of these. Very, very slim window here. Okay. I, I see. I understand. I have downloaded the puzzle. And I can now move on. That's definitely enough. We passed the funny number. You can stop now. How many boxes are in this level? Castle machinery. We're starting to climb the tower now. I gotta, like, go around, but I don't remember how to do that. It's jumping and falling, right? Yes, it is. That's that's quite a fall. And my legs still work. Ah, robot shuckles here. Woo, okay. I almost had fried bandicoot for a second. Yeah, I'll probably beat the stage without dying. That's how good I am at this game. I don't even need a kuku there, so I was just like, let me ditch him. You didn't see that. What does a wumpa fruit taste like? I imagine it tastes kind of like a mango. It's got mango vibes going on. Oh, you think I'm not going to go for these? What are you, nuts? I'm still going to go for them. Whatever. Big jump. Come on, Crash. We can do this. We're almost at the top of the, the castle. Okay, I got to focus now. This is where... Uh, why Why don't I just take the hit and jump on? I have no lives now. All right, a sacrifice is going to be made here. Oh, wait. That wasn't ice. God, I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. I thought it was ice. What are you mixing there, Mr. Brio? Mr. Embryo, what are you mixing? Okay, um, boogers, Slimer. That wasn't right. He didn't really try to throw that thing. He was just like, eh, softballed it. There, oh, gross. <laughs> That's disgusting. There used to be this, uh, I think it was creepy crawlers that allowed you to make like squirting bugs. I reference creepy crawlers once every six months, so just deal with it. Don't you have one of those sinks that, like, you wash your eye out as an emergency? Wh where's it going? How many are you throwing? Oh, no! Oh, I thought he was going to stop. He's going to throw five. He thinks I can't dodge. I got these fancy feet. Yeah, do it. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Uh, you good, homie? Thorg, hungry! Thorg, want eat! I jump on his head? I jump on his head. Yeah, there we go. This is what Ganondorf players look like when they're holding the controller. Wow, someone doesn't do legs at the gym. Donkey Kong's down B. Be like. Okay, one more time for the homies back at home. There we go. No, you, you, got, you don't got wings, pal. And then the final ascent to the lab. The stage before this was also a lab, but this is like more of a lab. This is the good lab. So, like, when experiments are getting done, they're like, nah, let's go to the good lab. Oh, that, okay, that's not cool. Why would you do that? Yikes. Oh, we see what color Crash's underwear is now. We know he's wearing boxers. All right, this guy, he, he's got to be into some kinky stuff. Why can't I jump and hit him? Get, get, okay. Wait, no, he's not dead yet. Oh, we just can't kill him. Please die. If you think you're going to... Scum me out of that checkpoint. You are s We out here killing scientists. It's what we do best. We gotta be close to the end, right? Where is it? Should be right behind... Oh, no. Okay, I remember this right here. The door really just closed on me. I'm going. We, just, we gotta do it. We just gotta Leroy Jenkins it. All right, this is it. This is the end. See? Just had a not bounce, and we out of here. All right, the Great Hall... Just call me the hall monitor. Throwing a 
A hidden gem. All I did was step on the platform. I don't have the gems though, so can't do it. That's it, that's the whole stage. I did it without dying, you proud of me? Now, <laughs> and now for the final boss. All right, so I think this is probably one of the easier final boss fights in the Crash series. You know, you dodge these, you gotta hit back the green one. It's kind of like a weird angle too. Like Crash is, he's a very large character on the screen. Yeah, it's jammed. Get, oh, I missed. I hit, how about that one? Hold this one. He's gonna, oh, it got vaporized. You know this game was made in the 90s because that is a typical ray gun. Looks like every fictional ray gun ever. I hit that. He don't even care. His castle is on fire. I don't know, man. If my whole ass castle, my lair was on fire, I wouldn't be trying to shoot somebody. Just like Balan in uh, Sonic Smackdown. It's got the magic gems that bounce off each other. Here we go. He's gonna build up that big laser. Here we go. 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 Oh, not looking too good there, Neo Cortex. You're you're looking looking kind of sad. Looking looking like you just got washed by Mr. Bandicoot as he falls to his death. And Crash gets the girl. And that's Crash 1. Moving on to Crash 2. Who's piloting the blimp?